They say that food is the way to a country's heart and nowhere is that more true than in China. So in this video, I will show you why China's cuisine is so beloved around the world. So get ready for our culinary adventure. I'm starting out with some Tianhuan or rice noodle rolls and it's a really popular Chinese breakfast for good reason. They are flavorful, light and easy to eat on the go. And it's originated in Guangdong province where we are right now. Originally, it was served as a dim sum dish in tea houses. <laughs> What's really interesting Chinese people is spicy food, spicy for breakfast. When I was living in Europe, I never ate spicy food for breakfast, so it's a little bit extreme. But after four years of living in China, I can definitely start with some spicy breakfast diet. Yeah, that's why whenever we stayed in a hotel and uh, there was only Chinese breakfast, <laughs> we always had trouble what to choose. Yeah, all of them were very very different from the European breakfast. That's for sure. <laughs> and we got some soy milk as well. As I observed, yeah, <laughs> it's a gift. As I noticed, Chinese people really do like drinking soy milk with their breakfast. So I'm, I'm like a local. Mm -hmm. It's good. I've already drunk mine. So we cannot make a shot with like. <laughs> 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 Do like this. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cheers. Cheers. I never did that with food before. <laughs> this could be like a good thumbnail. Like, oh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it was yummy. <laughs> I'm like, no more near as you. How dare you! <laughs> I needed to rinse this uh, hot pepper. <laughs> the spiciness. <laughs> Actually, I'm not this fat, or maybe I am. I don't know, but I have. I'm wearing two pullovers. <laughs> it's definitely because of the two pullovers. <laughs> it's not because we eat too much, and this is an eating video. <laughs> our neighbor. Oh, our neighbor is here. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Woman, she, she, yeah, yeah. she, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really funny, I still can't get used to the fact that in China there is no taboo. Like probably if you hop in a taxi or you go into the restaurant, the first question they ask you will be how much do you earn, whether you're married, how many kids do you have, where are your parents, and stuff like that. So they just ask us how much you earn. <laughs> So it's always awkward. I don't know how to get out of the conversation. Most probably in, in most countries, I think this is a kind of question that you don't really ask from another person. Yeah. Like how much they earn. Maybe they don't ask each other, they only ask us. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe. They are generally curious about us. Chinese people say that if you don't finish your food when you die, all the food you left will be waiting for you at the gate of the heaven. And you are not allowed to enter heaven until you eat all of it. So I'm working hard not to have any food at the gate of the heaven when I die. <laughs> so I can just go straight in. <laughs> and I ate all the spiciness as well. How 
many motorbikes there are behind me and all around me. We have ours right here and we go everywhere with our lovely motorbike. Now, since I've had my delicious feel of chair one, it's time for a refreshing drink. Since we live in a tropical oceanic monsoon climate, I'm going to grab some coconut water. Coconut is plentiful in Guangdong province. By the way, did you know that coconut water is used to treat dehydration, fatigue, and even digestive issues in Asian Chinese medicine? It's a true superfood. So let's go. So here we are. As you can see, they provided everything for us. Very easy to open the coconut. The plastic situation is pretty crazy. Unfortunately, there's nothing much we can do about it. Everything is packaged heavily. Oranges are packaged like every single one of them individually even like small pieces of candy or small pieces of strawberries so there's no surprise the coconut is covered with a ton of plastic as well this green thing is inside the coconut and we can just take this out take it out ah. so here it is there's a hole in the middle of it and then you can have your little straw and put it in the coconut mm. I can never get bored of the coconut water it's so tasty I can feel the fresh delicious taste of the coconut water yeah. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> Does it have the effect just like the, the spinach on papaya? Oh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> but I would look really masculine if it did. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> yes. Mine was better. Oh, really? <laughs> Check this out, you would think it's just a regular uh, panda statue But if you listen closely, soon you realize that it is a loudspeaker <laughs> How cute! How old are you? And how about you? <laughs> <laughs> Playing games here? Yes! Yes, that's so good! Alright, goodbye! Bye! Bye!